Welcome to Wasp 3D Virtual Client Application. In this tutorial we will learn how to work in design mode. Access design the toggle button. This mode offers a specialized interface for loading and unloading templates, creating camera presets, oscillations, and chroma key, as well as making simple modifications like object and texture transformations. The template pool displays all available templates, including virtual set and graphic templates, organized in a folder hierarchy. Simply locate your virtual set template, drag and drop it in the edit panel to load it into the app. Conveniently, you can store frequently used templates in the quick access folder for quick access. The, re the recent folder displays the last 10 templates used in the app. Once the virtual set is loaded, it will be highlighted in green, allowing you to start creating camera positions. Before proceeding, let's finalize the chroma position and size. In this example, we are using a recorded video from the local disk, but you can also use live camera inputs from SDI or NDI sources. To move the chroma object to its desired location, first select it from the object selection box. In the SRT panel, adjust its position and scale to fit within the proportions of the virtual set. You can use the Ctrl or Alt key to adjust the numeric text box in increments of 0.01 or 0.10. Stop the chroma video, adjust the mask texture by selecting it from the list box and modifying its size and position. The chroma keyer tab is in the same tab space as the template pool. Preview the original input by pressing the live button. To select the chroma color, double click on the key color box and use the color picker. You can also switch to composite view. Virtual client app allows you to make pre-process settings, which are pre-chroma color corrections. Enable these settings by checking the enable checkbox. Gamma controls the brightness of the colors in the video, with a value of 100 being equal to the original live input. Higher gamma values will darken the video, while a lower value will increase the brightness. Hue change or modify a color in the original live video by selecting it using the empty color box and selecting the color from the video in the Render Engine or VSET Pro interface. Rotate alter the selected color by rotating the hue value from 0 to 360. Tolerance control the range of colors affected by the selected color change by adjusting the tolerance level. Increasing the tolerance expands the range, shown as a highlighted rectangle between colors. Brightness, contrast, and saturation modify the brightness, contrast, and saturation of the chroma video source before processing the chroma, improving the video, and removing the chroma color. Preview the keyed areas of your video by clicking the Live Map button. To create a black and white representation of your chroma key, adjust the gamma, mat min max, density, and threshold values. The black area represents the background, and the white area represents your presenter or subject. Switch to composite mode to view the chroma key merged with the virtual set. If there's a green cast on the subject, use spill correction to remove it. For further color adjustments, you can use the post process panel. Once you're satisfied with your chroma key, save it as a preset for future use. The scene modifications in chroma are done, so now we can create the camera presets. Camera presets are the camera positions stored in the preset control. Users can switch, animate, or transition between any camera preset. To create a camera preset, select the camera from the object selection box, in, angle, and FOV, and double-click an empty preset box. So replace any existing preset by double-clicking it after adjusting the camera position. Scene can have up to 24 camera presets, which you can switch between, animate, or transition as needed. Create an animated camera movement in the preset. 
Click on the O button of the desired preset to access the oscillation control, set the camera position and rotation for position A, and double-click on the A button. The outline should change to green. Repeat the process for position B. When both A and B are set, the O button will turn green, indicating a complete oscillation. Set the duration of the animation between the two points. In design mode, the presets with oscillations keep highlighted in green and O button is added to the preset in the play mode. Our camera presets are ready done, objects and textures are set. We can now save the scene and move to production mode.